This is Davey Allison coming out of corner number four. Mark Martin receives the white flag. There is one more lap to go. One more tour of the 1.017 mile oval at Rockingham, North Carolina. And Mark Martin, 30-year-old driver from Batesville, Arkansas, driver of the Strolite Ford, will win his first Winston Cup event. Here he is, moving through turns number three and four. He sees the checkered flag ahead in the hands of Harold Kinder. He receives the checkered flag. Mark Martin wins! Well, Mark Martin climbing out of the Stroh's Light Ford, and Mark, it's been a long time coming, but congratulations, partner. Well, thanks, Jerry. Uh, driving up here into Victory Lane, you know, I just felt like my whole life was fulfilled. That's, I've wanted it so bad for so long, and I'm just really lucky to have the opportunity to work with, you know, Jack and Roush and Steve Mill and Robin Pemberton and all the guys in Stroh's Light and Ford and have this family, and I feel like I've got it all right now. What a comeback this will be to make all those chassis adjustments in the middle of the race go completely to the end of the car in the lead lap. I think 13th spot and work his way back through to the front. He has battled back from a long pit stop. The pit crew rolled the dice. They took a chance. They kept him in to make a major chassis adjustment on the car. He nearly lost a lap getting out just in front of the pace car. He was uh, almost a full lap behind, but he has moved through traffic. He has picked off his competitors. He took the lead from Dale Earnhardt a few laps ago, and now Mark Martin has less than a lap to go before he can claim victory here at North Wilkesboro. He brings the Folgers forward off the fourth corner, and Mark Martin wins the Tyson Holly Farms 400. The Jack Roush crew celebrate, and well they should. They have done their job. They have put their driver in the winner's circle here this afternoon. Mark Martin maintains his points lead in Winston Cup competition, winning this race here today. A great day in the Wilkesboro Speedway for the Martin family, and Mark, congratulations on a tremendous effort. Well, I got a mouthful to say here, man. It was really, you couldn't touch Dale Earnhardt. He was gone. We were a second-place car. Jack, Steve, Robin, the guys on pit road were incredible. They're number one in my heart, I tell you. They, they worked on the car all day long and prepared the whole race to make that last run, and, and it was right, you know, right on. And I just got to thank uh, Folgers and, and Ford Motor Company, Valvoline, all the guys and the race fans have really rallied behind this championship drive. And like I said before, doesn't matter if we sit at that head table or not in New York. These guys are number one. Two, two laps to go to Mark Martin. Kale Yarborough won four in a row in 76. Waldrop did in 81. Bernard did in 87. Gant did in 91. Elliott in 92. And now Mark Martin is about to win his fourth in a row. And to win the Southern 500, Ned, you know this has to be one of the happiest moments of this young man's life. No doubt about it. As we said so many times, this is one of the toughest tracks on the circuit, and if you can beat this track on any given day, it's one of the greatest feelings of accomplishment that you can have. The white flag is out to Mark Martin right now. One more lap to go for Mark Martin. This will be his 11th career NASCAR Winston Cup win. It'll be his fourth of this year. His first win ever at this grand old racetrack that has been hosting a NASCAR Winston Cup race on Labor Day weekend since 1950. And Earnhardt took the white flag, so he will be credited with four spot, even though the car we shouldn't get back, but it will get back. And Mark Martin wins. Mark Martin's Express continues. He has won four in a row. Mark Martin continues to eat into the points lead of Dale Earnhardt for the 1993 NASCAR Winston Cup Championship. Boy, but Mark is not, Mark is not checking up for anybody. Two laps to go. to go. Mark Martin's driving that thing like it's worth a million dollars. And more. That's just, that's just the bonus that's the million dollars. Yeah, that's not counting the purse money, which is several hundred thousand dollars. I haven't seen Mark drive like this in a year.
He has only led 42 laps. Jimmy Johnson led 263. Ricky Rudd led 49 laps. And he's catching the cars in exactly the right places. He gets his nose down under him, puts the cars between he and Kenton. One to go, baby. Light flag. Mark, you are the man tonight. Mark Martin has never won the Noble Million Dollar Bonus. This is his ninth try at it. He hasn't won since April of 2002 agonizing years. Boy, he's got just a little bit more traffic here. Here comes Kentis. <laughs> a Kentis. little bit more. He's got a lot of traffic. Kentis is in worse shape. He's hung up back here as well. Mark Martin has never won the 600 at Charlotte. He has now. Now he has. Mark Martin wins the Coca-Cola Racing Family 600. She's a millionaire. She's a millionaire. But I'm giving most all mine away to these guys. I told them they could win that race. They could have most of my, my part of that money, a big part of it. I might keep just a little bit. But I can't win in a slow car. And this Viagra team, they buckle down. They put me in a race car that could win. They gave me the lead with four tires. And everything was perfect. Unless Mark makes a big mistake, I don't think that will happen. Elliot's going to finish second. Daryl, how does it feel to see that car? Hey, Mark, pretty well. Looking good. See that car so close in front, you can almost reach out and touch it, but you can't get there. Well, you're just trying to think, what can I do, man? What can I do? What? I've tried every line. I've done everything I know how to do. Just one more, bud. One more. You got a billion bucks, bud. Go get it. One more. One more. White flag. And here's what you know about Mark Martin. You know who he'll share that million bucks with? Everybody. Boy, Elliot Sadler drove it down into turn one. Come he on, every bit of the racetrack off turn two. It's just not going to be enough, he doesn't. No. Mark is just too good, and Elliot's done everything he can, but Mark's just too good. Here he comes off turn four. Nice job, bud. Bring it home here. Mark Barton wins the next to All-Star Challenge and $1,101,000. What does it mean to win this all-star challenge? Uh, I told them, man, if they give me a ride, I'll come back next year. Uh, after winning this thing, I tell you, I just want to thank Viagra. They're number one, been there uh, seven years. Awesome relationship we've had. Uh, I want to thank them for letting us do this Retro 93. It's up there like it was always supposed to be. You know, uh, just want to thank them all. Uh, uh, you know, Penzel and, and uh, Ford and Gatorade, Kraft, everybody that supports us so much for, you know, it's just a terrific opportunity to drive for Pat Tryson and, and all these guys. I just love them. Three to go for Mark Martin. He will have to get by Mike Wallace. I think Mike Wallace already pointed out the window to go low. Wallace in the four car, drifts up the hill. Mark gets him on the back stretch. Biffle trying to close in. Two and a half laps to go. Three miles left for Mark Martin. Labeled this season the salute to you, Tor, the salute to the fans. This was going to be Mark's last season, his last full-time season in the next Tell Cup series. Right now has plans to return next year because Jack Roush needs him in that car. And Jack Roush has got to be an extremely happy man. Three cars, three Roush cars running one, two, three. He's not happy yet. Oh, that's true, because it's not over. Last lap at Kansas. There's the cat in the hat. I think Mark's got plenty of buffer right now between him and Biffle. Looking to get by Dale Jarrett. And Jarrett does move over. Let Mark go. Six tenths of a second back to Biffle. I don't think Greg can catch him. Last week we asked Mark about his 34 wins, what the next one would mean. He said he really didn't care about the next race win. He just wanted the championship. But he's going to get the win, win number 35 for Mark Martin. Who to go? And Mark Martin playing catch me if you can. Well, Mark started on the pole, and we knew that sooner, you know, he's had three poles this year. We knew he's going to win a race sooner or later. This is great. He hadn't won since 2005. 
New team, new driver. One White more. bag in the air. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. One more. Like Mark needs to be told, nice and smooth. He's got a one second lead. He's got half a lap to go. I'm going to tell you what, this is going to be a popular win with the fans and with the competitors. I can guarantee you that. And I'm really happy for Rick Hendrick because this five car, it's been a while since it won a race, and Rick really is proud of this opposite way that uh, Gustafson and Mark have. And you had a cell phone call from the boss. What did Rick had to tell you about getting the five back to victory lane? Uh, he just congratulated me, man. He makes dreams come true. You know, uh, I sat and watched Rick, uh, Tim Richmond win after he was sick, and this is as big a deal to me. It just means so much. And Arlene, thank you for letting me do it. Uh, Car Quest, Kellogg's, Sprint. All the folks that support this thing, Chevrolet, monster horsepower under the hood. There was enough gas in the tank. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Mark Martin. That is if he can hold off Matt Kenseth. I was going to say, he's got yeah. his hands full of that 17 car right now, Kevin Harvick, the 29. 50 years old and having the time of his life. Is that not, is that not American dream? Mark Martin won the 1993 Southern 500. He has 25 top 10s here. This is his 43rd Darlington race, and he's on the money lap. One to go. Has a pretty clean racetrack in front of him. There's one car out there, about four or five car lengths. He's halfway down the back straightaway now. What a great night for him and his team. He can almost coast home from here. Man, I think we're going to make it. <laughs> I think the you old are, man, Martin. Mark Martin. Second win of the season, second win at Darlington. Mark Martin wins Woo. at Darlington. That's Again. big. That's big, boys. It's all guys. You did it, man. You did it, Alan. Great job, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is awesome. <laughs> uh, nice job with that whole team. What a deal. Mark's 37th Sprint Cup win. That's what I'm talking about. Comes in his 733rd start. It feels great. I want to thank the fans and, and uh, Cheese It, CarQuest, Chevrolet for all their support, and uh, of course Sprint, Alan Gustafson, and this race team, the boss. Hey, Rick, thank you, man. I'm loving it, man. This, uh, that was so incredible, man. Once we, once we got out front, man, it was just easy. Car was awesome. Mark Martin sitting right there. Mark just moved to second. Biffles, he looks to be slow. He's slower. Is he slow? He's off the pace. He's off the pace. He's off the pace. Here, Here comes Mark. 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 Oh, he's barreling. Oh, my God. Oh, look at Bill. He's shaking it. He he's just shaking it. To the switch. Here comes Here Mark. Mark. Oh, Woo. no. Half a lap from the finish. Mark Martin to the lead. Incredible. Does he have enough fuel? This is drama, dude. This is, oh, yeah, he can, he can coach from here. Out of he's four. got it. Biffle's going to coast. He's got Mark four Martin. wins here and another one today. Mark Martin takes the checkered flag of Michigan. <laughs> That's why you love racing. Well, you know, uh, this team deserves to be in the chase, and we were on the outside looking in with all the trouble we had. I went for, I feel, I went for the points, man. Uh, I didn't think, I thought those guys were running too hard for us to save gas. I couldn't do it both, save gas and run with them. And uh, when Jimmy ran out, we got over here, I don't know if you're a listener or not, I said, hey, we're this close, I'm gonna run hard, you know? And I thought we could make it. And uh, and uh, we ran all, out coming off of four, but uh, this is great for Kellogg's and CarQuest. Great gas mileage by this Chevrolet GM right down the road. And, and uh, the Kellogg's folks are also just right down the road. And just wanna thank the fans. This. Uh, I told Rick, uh, just please don't fire me. I was on my 32nd Friday night, and I was like laying in the bed just worrying about it, you know. Heck, I love this stuff, man. I want to drive this car forever. Side by side, they are door to door out of turn four, and Martin will take the advantage by a oh, car. What a move. Wow, that was a great run off of that corner for Mark Martin. That might have been the move that wins him this race. fast right here. Montoya still looking hard, chewing on that rear bumper. Comes Hamlin to the outside. This is what Mark Martin wants to see in his mirror. Somebody getting back here to occupy the 42 car. Coming down for the white flag this time by Mark Martin trying to hold off and hold on to a five car length advantage for the white flag. Martin has never won a race at New Hampshire. See Kyle Busch there on the outside of Jimmy Johnson 
Trying to take that four spot away. Got a spin off of turn four. It's already taken the white flag. So they'll race back here to the checkered flag. Caution's not out yet. They're still racing. No caution yet. They got cars sitting here. They're going to have to throw the caution. Still not out. Still not out. It's going to come to the checkered they flag. I really. Now yeah, the caution's the caution. out. And it is officially over. Mark watch Martin. out. Watch out. As soon as that caution comes out, the field is frozen, and so Mark Martin was automatically the winner. Well, it's pretty darn good. Uh, Alan won the race. Uh, uh, he just, uh, Alan, Alan Gustafson's a man. This is a dream come true. I want to thank Kellogg's, CarQuest, Chevrolet, Sprint, uh, NASCAR, GoDaddy, and all the fans. Thank you, guys. This, this is just incredible. I just, I, I'm, I'm sure, pinch me. I'm sure I'm sleeping. I'm sure I'm dreaming. Mark's talent, passion, and desire to be the best has proven to be second to none. And it is now my honor on this 20th of day of January 2017 to present the NASCAR Hall of Fame inductee ring and officially induct Mark Martin into the NASCAR Hall of Fame. Congratulations. Uh, to say it's an honor would be an understatement. To say it's a culmination of a lifelong dream is a fact. It's an honor beyond the wildest imagination of a kid from Arkansas that just loved to drive fast cars and win races. Most importantly, it's a recognition of hard work, determination, drive and focus, not of myself, but of those that gave their blood, sweat and tears to put me up here tonight. I was just a kid like Jeff Gordon was when he came along, 22 years old, Never, uh, I had never failed at anything, and it looked like it was going to be pretty easy. I sat on two poles out of five races. The worst I ever qualified was sixth. Uh, finished, led two races decisively, and finished third, seventh, and eleventh in those two races. It looked like it was going to be pretty easy. So I started off 1982 and left Daytona broke, a sponsor that never paid, and uh, I proceeded to just struggle all year long. Pretty much lost everything. But you know, you can never, ever give up. So then in 1984, I'm standing outside the fence looking in the garage area at Daytona. And I was watch the mechanics changing springs, engine tuners, working on the carburetors, crew chiefs, going over the notes, and the drivers walking back and forth from the, the cars to the transporters. And I said, I can beat those guys. Now understand, I wasn't waiting to go in inside and get in my car. I wasn't worried about sitting on a pole or winning a race. I didn't even have a credential. I was on the outside looking in. Sometimes you just need a second chance. And I needed that second chance. For me, that chance came by way of a highly driven, engineer-minded dragon road racer from way up north. He wore this full-brimmed hat, and you'd use more words than most of us know. Most importantly, he was hell-bent and determined as I was to make a name for himself winning races and competing for championships at NASCAR's highest level. Jack Roush gave me that second chance. Jack, we battled side by side for nearly 20 years, and I never once questioned your will to win or determination to succeed. We not only won a lot of races, but you helped mold me into the man I am today. I can't thank you enough for what you've done for me, for everything, you know, for the opportunity to even stand up here tonight on this stage, or more importantly, the role you played in me becoming the person I am today.